हेलो बच्चों हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग सो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू दिस अमेजिंग सीरीज कॉल्ड एज फन विद फिजिक्स ओलम्पिया ठीक है तो सबसे पहले तो आप लोगों का बच्चों बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया है ना वी आर वेरी थैंकफुल टू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर द अमेजिंग रिस्पॉन्स विच वी आर रिसीविंग एंड द वे यू गाइज आर लाइकिंग आर वीडियोज एंड दिस अगेन गिव्स मी अ कॉन्फिडेंस येस वी विल ब्रिंग अ गोल्ड फॉर आर कंट्री ओके सो दैट इज द एजेंडा ऑफ दिस वेदांत ओलम्पिया स्कूल so my name is vinay kumar shur as all of you might be knowing me uh, now there are lots of videos uh, we have already shared on the physics olympiad okay so guys uh, jo bacche naye jude hain just unke liye before that before i start my lecture that i wanted to tell you like we have few courses for all of you theek hai and uh, we have some inpho batches for plus 1 we have also some nscp batches and uh, what we do there we do the preparation of je olympiads and kvpy बुक्स लाइक इरोडोफ एंड पाथ फाइंडर देर डेडिकेटेड डिस्कशन मतलब आप ये मान के चलिए ऐसा भी हमारे पास एक बैच बना है जिसमें हम डेडिकेटेड डिस्कशन कर रहे हैं इन बच्चों की कुछ बच्चों की इन बुक्स की ओके एंड येस वी एक्सपोज प्रीवियस ईयर इंडियन फिजिक्स ओलम्पियाड इंटरनेशनल फिजिक्स ओलम्पियाड एंड यू एस ए फिजिक्स ओलम्पियाड ओके टू आर स्टूडेंट्स एंड यू कैन से स्टूडेंट्स देर आर नियरली फाइव टू सिक्स आवर्स ऑफ लोड Uh, every week okay so that will not disturb your preparation and this is what i say in my every video and uh, yes uh, that is the only way to reach us there is only one unique way to reach us and that is physics.vos@gmail.com okay so if you are nscgs qualified okay any olympiad qualified i am very happy like this this time we have received response from bangladesh from usa and from singapore also so this shows that yes students are liking our videos So, if you are NACGS qualified, NTSC qualified, any kind of achievements you have, like you are any INMO qualified, we have received a girl who has uh, cleared, you know, uh, INMO exam in the eighth class. So, so we are like, really helpful that we are giving, uh, receiving a such an awesome response from all of you. Okay, so कुछ भी हो, and yes, if you are not qualified anything, don't worry, I will give you few questions at the end of the every video. You send me a solution. So, if your solutions click me, I will get you enrolled into our courses. Okay. So now, students, let's start like same kind of batch we have plus two, and same for all the candidates. The ID is physics dot vos at the rate gmail dot com. Okay. So now, students, let's start. Let's start with a very beautiful and wonderful question today. Okay. So see, students, what is happening here? So a stick of length two meter. So there is a guy's a stick of length two meter. Is leaned against a wall and it is released from this position at theta is equal to sixty degree. So, a uh, theta is equal to sixty degree. पे हमने एक uh, जो uh, wall है उसके साथ हमने उसको lean कर दिया और sixty degree पे उसको हमने release कर दिया. ठीक है? And its other end B remain in contact with the floor as the stick slides down. तो ये जो है ये आपका यहाँ पे है और second end जो है वो आपका वो यहाँ पे है and it slides down. Okay? so the question is awesome the question is now the rod is sliding you can feel that this end will go that side and that end will come in the downward direction so the question is find the distance traveled by the center of the stick by the time it hits the floor so the by time you know what i am trying to say the time this strikes here okay so when the time by this the rod reaches at the bottom so the question is find that that is very very important Distance traveled. There is a center of the disc, and you know the center is moving in some random path. We don't know what is happening here. What is the path of the uh, center? And you need to find the distance, guys. That is very important. Distance of center of disc. आप समझ रहे हो क्या पूछा जा रहा है? मजाक नहीं हो रहा ये. This is not a joke. This is a very very serious question. आपको सेंटर का डिस्टेंस निकालना है फॉर डिस्टेंस यू नीड टू हैव अ ट्रेजेक्टरी आइडिया व्हाट द ट्रेजेक्टरी व्हाट इज हैपनिंग देयर नॉट डिस्प्लेसमेंट दे आर आस्किंग दे आर आस्किंग व्हाट द डिस्टेंस फॉर दैट यू हैव टू एन आइडिया व्हाट द ट्रेजेक्टरी सुपर क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट्स थिंक यू कैन पॉज दिस वीडियो व्हाट इज हैपनिंग हियर एंड देन यू कैन वॉच द सॉल्यूशन ओके थोड़ा थॉट लगाइए ठीक है डिस्टेंस पूछा गया है बाय द मूवमेंट द रॉड स्ट्राइक्स द ग्राउंड सो दैट डिस्टेंस वी नीड टू फाइंड ओके चलिए आई होप बच्चों आप सब ने अपना एक जेनुइन थॉट दे दिया है तो नाउ लेट मी डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम ओके 
सो गाइस दिस लेंथ इज टू मीटर ठीक है एंड इनिशियल थीटा थीटा इनिशियल वॉज पाए बाय सिक्सटी डिग्री दैट वॉज पाए बाय थ्री ठीक है अब मेरी बात को जरा ध्यान से सुनना आई एम टेलिंग यू इन दीज सिचुएशन द थीटा इज वेरिएबल द सेंटर ऑफ मास ऑफ रॉड इन दीज स्लाइडिंग क्वेश्चन इट इज अ स्टैंडर्ड कॉन्सेप्ट आई डोंट नो दैट यू नो इट और नॉट फॉलोस अ सर्कुलर पाथ आई विल प्रूव इट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ठीक है इसमें जो सेंटर ऑफ मास होता है आपका आप अभी इसको प्रूव करेंगे दैट विल फॉलो अ सर्कुलर पाथ ठीक है कैसे मैं आपको समझाता हूं आप इस बात को समझिए लाइक दिस हैज कॉर्डिनेट जीरो कॉमा जीरो and let's say the center has coordinates x comma y theek okay? hai i need to find some relation between x and y like y is equal to mx it is a straight line aap samajh pa rahe ho aur x equal to y square parabola ho sakta hai ya main aapko prove karke dikha raha hu ki ye ek circular path prove hoga now kaise let's start our job kaise prove hoga guys this is clear that this total length is l cos theta ye to clear hai aapko This total length is L, so L का horizontal component is L cos theta and this vertical component is L sin theta. So one is L cos theta, this horizontal and that is L sin theta. Okay? अच्छा, यहाँ से फिर आगे चलते हैं थोड़ा सा। यार ये जो length है, this length is how much? Center से जो उसका distance है, that is L by two. तो मेरे ख्याल से आप समझ रहे होंगे मैं क्या कहना चाह रहा हूँ? So if I break it, this length comes out to be l by two ka cos theta component, and that height comes out to be l by two automatically sin theta component. ठीक है? So that is l by two cos theta. That is l by two sin theta. Okay. And now watch carefully. This is l cos theta. L cos theta में से आप l by two cos theta minus कर दो. तो मेरे ख्याल से आप समझ पा रहे हो l cos theta में से अगर मैं l by two cos theta सब्ट्रैक्ट कर दूँ so that comes out to be l by two into cos theta and similarly this height is nothing it is l by two into sin theta so guys you can say that the coordinates are x comma y so x is l by two into cos theta and y is guys l by two into sin theta so students now you can see I have x, I have y. Theta is variable. I want to eliminate theta. So if I simply square them and add them, so what I will get? I will get x square plus y square is equal to l by two square. So x square plus y square is equal to l by two square. So guys, I guess the game is now over. So any particle which moves in a circle, आप इस बात को समझिए. Having coordinates x comma y, having origin zero comma zero, so अगर कोई particle आपका किसी circle में चलता है, तो उस particle का जो equation होता है बच्चों, I guess आप समझ पा रहे होंगे, the radius is r, this length is x, this is y, so by applying Pythagoras theorem, simply x square plus y square is equal to r square, so that is the equation of a particle moving in a circle. So students आप देखिए what a beautiful thing it is. So what is this length? The radius is L by 2. So you can say the center of mass, this is L by 2, is rotating in a circle. So the circle is L by 2. I will go to the next slide. If you are able to understand what I want to say, this angle is how much? How much angle is rotated? अगर आप थोड़ा सा यहाँ पे समझें, congruent triangles हैं, guess this side is common, this is common, this is 90, this is 90, so you can say this angle and this angle are equal, so this angle is pi by three. तो आप अगर समझ पा रहे हैं, मैं यहाँ draw कर देता हूँ, that is the center of the rod, so you can feel that the center of the rod is following a a circular path and the radius moves pi by three, ठीक है? So students, you can feel that this length is equal to r into theta. So r is the radius into theta, the theta is pi by 3. So basically, 
the length move by it is r into theta and that is r pi by 3 so guys what is the radius the radius is l by 2 so my radius ki value bhi nikal deta hu that is l by 2 and l is 2 meter question mein aapko given hai upar l is 2 meter so 2 by 2 that comes out to be 1 meter so radius is 1 into pi by 3 so the distance moved is pi by 3 meter so this length ye yahan se leke yahan tak ki jo length hai that length is the distance is pi by 3 meter so dekhiye kitna wonderful problem hai isn't it a really beautiful and awesome problem students think about this if we don't know this thing na then the question is very very difficult fir ye question bahut zyada mushkil hai theek hai but chaliye koi baat nahi vedant olympiad school aapko karke dikhayega so we are here for all these kind of questions and awesome content for all of you okay chaliye students let's have some another problem kuch aur karte hain very standard problem uh, now this is a standard problem you can see uh, let me have a different So there is a hinge rod consist of three rhombuses. There is a hinge rod consist of three rhombuses you can see with the ratio of sides like you can say this L1 this has ratio L2 this length has ratio L3. So L1 ratio L2 ratio L3 the ratio of these rhombuses sides is 5 the ratio 3 ratio 2. So 5 ratio 3 ratio 2 k barabar. The vertex A3 moves in horizontal direction with velocity V. So you can see here like this is a vertex and I am pulling this vertex with velocity let's say V0. V0 is the velocity with which I am pulling it. Okay. So question is what is the velocity of this point? That is the question. Ye jo A2 wala point hai इस a2 वाले पॉइंट का जो वेलोसिटी होगा v वो कितना होगा ओके सो गाइस बहुत सिंपल प्रॉब्लम है यू कैन पॉज दिस वीडियो एंड आई गेस मेनी ऑफ यू हैव आई गेस सॉल्वड इट ओरली तो ओरली भी सॉल्व कर लिया होगा यू कैन पॉज दिस वीडियो एंड देन आई कैन स्टार्ट माय डिस्कशन ओके आई होप आप सबने बेटा अपना थॉट दे दिया है मैं यहीं पे सॉल्व कर देता हूं इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल प्रॉब्लम so guys it's a simple thing like if whatever be the length the diagonal will also be proportional to length you know length ke jo components honge the components of length will go to the diagonal ठीक है तो आप इस बात को समझिए अगर मैं इस लेंथ को 2x कहता हूं डायगोनल को इस बात को आप समझिए सो बेसिकली द लेंथ रेशियो विल बी द रेशियो ऑफ द डायगोनल सो d1 रेशो d2 रेशो d3 ठीक है जो डायगोनल्स की रेशो होगी वही लेंथ की रेशो होगी सो so, अगर मैं इस लेंथ को 2x बोलता हूं दिस लेंथ हैज टू बी 3x दिस लेंथ हैज टू बी 5x दैट इज द इजीएस्ट वे ऑफ डूइंग दिस क्वेश्चन देयर आर लॉट ऑफ वेस बहुत बच्चे इसमें कंपोनेंट्स लेके करेंगे आंसर दे विल रीच द आंसर बट दैट विल कॉम्प्लिकेट द क्वेश्चन सो आई एम गिविंग यू द सिंपलेस्ट पॉसिबल मेथड ओके सो आई एम सेइंग लाइक दिस इज 2x ये आपका 2x है दिस इज 3x एंड दैट इज योर 5x ठीक है so 5 ratio 3 ratio 2 so 5x 3x and 2x so now students you can see what is happening here aap yahan pe kya kar rahe hain uh like this has point total length xp so d by dt of xp xp is the point let's say that point is p that velocity is v0 wo velocity jo mujhe given hai wo kiske barabar hai that is v0 and I know students what is the value of xp aapko yaha pe xp ka value bhi pata hai you know the value of xp xp is kya barabar hai xp is 5x plus 3x plus 2x so xp is actually 10x so you can say that d by dt of 10x is v0 and 10 is a constant I can take outside so in case you can write this thing as dx by dt is v0 upon 10 ye aapko given hai dx by dt is v0 upon 10 10 bahar aa gaya aur 10 aap us v0 ke niche le gaye theek hai and now students what we need to do here now that is a very important question hame kya karna hai hame hamare target with life ke clear hone chahiye 
we need to find the velocity of this point. So let's say this is point Q and this length is XQ. So what I wanted to do? I wanted to find d by dt of xq. जो point q है वो किस velocity से चल रहा है? That is my target. ठीक है? So now guys understand this thing. What is xq? अगर आप xq की value निकालें, so 5x and 3x. So that is equal to 8x. ठीक है? So the velocity v is the velocity of this point and that is the rate of change of that distance from origin. So, वो जो डिस्टेंस है वो आपका xq है। So, v is d by dt of xq. xq is 8x. Now, students, 8 comes outside. And what is dx by dt? The dx by dt is v naught by 10. So, 8 into v naught by 10. That is 0.8 v naught is the answer. Okay. So, but basically, you guys can see that the velocity is 0.8. Point it, we not okay, but our ticket. So, students, I really wish that you are liking the problems, okay? Uh, problems are what you are doing, you are concepts clear, okay? And uh, we are able to help you in few of the questions, okay? Students, uh, again, uh, this is uh, also a very wonderful problem. Uh, I let me draw the complete question, uh, something like this. This is a moving pulley, okay? So guys, uh, you need to find the acceleration of block B with respect to ground, okay? You have to ground ke frame mein iska acceleration of ground. So this is your homework. You can take a snapshot. Physics.vos at the rate gmail.com, okay? Yaap kar ye. Uh, one more question is coming to my mind. I wanted to give all of you one more question. Okay, aap ek bar wo bhi dekh lije. Ye bhi aapka homework hai. You think about this. We will then discuss. So guys, there are three. Like, main yehi pe likh deta hoon. Abhi just, it comes to my mind. Identical spheres. Fixed to ground. As shown. Okay. So, aapke paas teen. आइडेंटिकल स्फीयर्स हैं जो आपने ग्राउंड पे रखे हैं एंड द इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज दैट दे आर फिक्स्ड दे आर फिक्स्ड ठीक है दे आर फिक्स्ड टू द ग्राउंड एंड दिस इज द टॉप व्यू ये आप ऊपर से देख रहे हो दैट इज द टॉप व्यू थ्री आइडेंटिकल स्फीयर्स आपने ग्राउंड पे रख दिए एंड आप ऊपर से इसको उनको एंड यू हैव फिक्स्ड देम है ना यू हैव पेस्टेड देम विद फेविकोल एंड यू आर वाचिंग फ्रॉम द टॉप आप उसको टॉप से देख रहे हो ठीक है अब क्या किया आप ध्यान से सुनना मेरी बात the fourth sphere is gently placed over them symmetrically that is my fourth sphere ठीक है उन्हीं balls के ऊपर मैंने fourth sphere को place कर दिया gently the fourth sphere is symmetrically you can say placed over there ठीक है so the question is guys question बहुत अच्छा है आप आराम से थोड़ा 3D में आप समझ पा रहे हो यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है बच्चों आप 3D में थोड़ा visualize करें इस चीज को तो एक 3D में structure कुछ prism types या ना pyramid types कुछ कुछ बन रहा है अगर आप समझ पा रहे हो so the question is find the normal reaction between fourth sphere and any of other spheres. So basically, the fourth sphere is placed you know, over the top of these three spheres. So the question is, what is the normal reaction that fourth sphere is receiving from any of these spheres on the ground? So the ground be koi bhi teen spheres on me se kis sphere, kisi bhi ek sphere se, us fourth any one sphere Symmetrically, all three will be giving the normal reactions. So, kisi ek sphere ka us sphere se aapko normal reaction. Students, that is your homework. If I say it's a homework, so again send me your solutions at physics.vos at the rate gmail.com.
डॉट कॉम ठीक है सिंगल ईमेल आई डी फिजिक्स डॉट वी ओ एस एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम सेंडर सोल्यूशन वी विल गेट इन टच विद यू थैंक यू सो मच स्टूडेंट्स फॉर कमिंग टू क्लास विल कम अगेन विद समोसम क्वेश्चन विल हेल्प यू इन इंप्रूविंग यूर कॉन्सेप्ट थैंक यू सो मच बाय बाय टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ